Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since the last time that I filmed any videos. I am so sorry. I missed you guys so much. And I promise I'm going to try to do better. I know that I say that every single time, but I really am going to try and do better because I miss doing videos. I miss coming in on here and sharing. And I have so much to share that um, I really think that I want to get back on trying to get a schedule to do some more videos. So this is going to be a quick video because as you can see I have my hands full with these dogs and um, so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on I apologize for the snorting dog in the background that is Finley who is in the crate right behind this camera and the reason why she is there is because she was like trying I've restarted this video about 10 times because she kept going up to the camera and the camera would fall and I would have to restart the video over and over again so I had to put her in the crate but she is the pug that I have crazy little pug um, but she is adorable and cute as a button this monstrosity is Grayson so she is my old English sheep dog she is wonderful I love her to death as you can see she is extremely extremely attached to me though very very much attached so the last time I think that I did a video I think was when she was a little puppy and now she is 60 pounds she is a year and a half and she's probably not quite grow uh, finished growing yet so OESs grow until they're about two to three years old they are slow growing so she's probably going to get a little bit bigger than this and I love it there's so much that I can do with her that I can't do with the little that's what I call them Harper Stassi and Finley are the littles I can't really do a whole lot with them the things that I do with her um, just because they all have the short noses and they don't take the heat very well Grayson I can take walking we go on the levee um, she just is a really really great dog as they all are I love all of them for all of their differences because as you know they are all different breeds and I love it so there is one more dog that is going to be coming into our family and I am on a waiting list for a golden doodle and I don't know if any of you remember but I was going to get two OESs that was my goal way back two years ago when I got well a year and a half ago when I got Grayson I wanted two big dogs and I was going to get another OES that's what I was going to do but after having Grayson um, for a year and a half and dealing with this coat, guys, this coat, oh my goodness, I need videos just on grooming her for sure. Um, but after having this um, coat to deal with, I decided that, you know what, I know my limits, I know I'm crazy having five dogs, but I cannot handle another OES coat, so I'm gonna be just as crazy and get a golden doodle. <laughs> but I have a reason for that and the reason is is that I do love golden doodles when they are cut into a puppy cut and so they're a little bit more manageable and you know I love to groom um, so I don't mind combing and brushing um, but this full coat is a lot even though she does not shed so that's really good uh, but she's an awesome awesome dog and she needs someone to play with because as you can see I am her play toy she loves me she is up my butt constantly but she needs a playmate that she can go run and play with and the littles don't really play with her very much Finley plays with her but I have to stop them because she cannot breathe because she's pug so I have to be extremely careful and I can't let Finley get overheated and so she really has nobody to play with so therefore I am her toy so anyway that's what's been going on with the dogs um, Stassi come here Stassi Stassi is fine um, she is five years old now she's still in beautiful long coat and I actually just filmed a video um, with me doing her top knot so you're gonna see that very soon I'm sorry that this hog is taking up all of the camera time but this is what she does she doesn't let anyone like do anything else because she has to be the center of attention all the time all the time um, but you're gonna see plenty of Stasi. I'm probably gonna do videos individually because trying to do videos with all of this 
you know, is, is too much. So you're going to see plenty of Stassi coming up. I promise. Um, Harper is great. She is over there. Um, I, I wish that I can get her for you, but I know if I move, this one is going to be all over the place and probably knock the camera down again. So you'll just have to, maybe she'll come over. Come on, Harper. Come on, Harper. <laughs> Y'all, the struggle is real. I knew this was going to be a problem. This is why it's taken me so long to do this, for sure. Um, but anyway, Harper is great. Finley is great. Stassi is great. Grayson is great. And a new golden doodle is on the way in about 18 to 21 months. Yes, the waiting list is that long. But I am on the waiting list for a very, very good breeder. And I am extremely excited to get one of her puppies whenever that may be. All right, so that is that. Next things next, as you can see, I am in my RV. And I have been living in the RV for the past six months. Maybe even a little bit longer than that. No, about six months. I sold my house in November. As many of you know, I had a big house um, that was me and my husband's. And when he passed away, I just didn't need that big of a house. So I decided to sell it and being the gypsy that I am, I was like, oh well, I'll just go live in the RV and figure it out later. And that is exactly what I have done. So I've been here absolutely loving it, but I just bought a piece of land on the coast in Mississippi, only about a block and a half from the beach, and I will be moving, or we will be moving, to the beach. Yay! I'm so excited. So I'm building a little farmhouse cottage, and if you're following me on Instagram, you can you know, see that uh, being built because I'm very open about what I share, and I'm pretty much sharing the whole process on Instagram as usual, along with the dogs and everything else that's going on in my life. Um, so the house is going to be, you know, like a, a small house. It's not going to be very big, uh, but it's going to be perfect. We're going to have a nice big yard, and I know that we are going to love it there because we absolutely love, love, love this area in Mississippi. It's an area that we looked at for um, a couple of years, and it's just, it's wonderful. It has everything that I love, live music, small town, quaint town, and the beach. So how can you go wrong with that, right? I am still in the coffee business, absolutely loving it. I have two locations of a PJ's coffee franchise. It's a New Orleans coffee house brand and I have two locations now and I have been loving it. The great thing about that business is that I can be there but then I can also leave because I have a wonderful staff that holds down the fort when I'm not there which is wonderful and then of course you guys know that I am um, always have my little side hustles going on so you know anything that I am passionate about and I love I pretty much will sign me up because I need to share it and if I can make money from sharing it then why not right and that is entrepreneurship today so um, it, but I only support things that I love. You guys know that I will never come to you with anything that I don't truly believe in, whether or not I'm a distributor for that company or not. So you have my absolute um, scout honor on that for sure. As far as everything else, I'm going to come to you with different videos on what I'm feeding these days. I'm actually trying out a old new food or a new old food. Actually, it's a food that I fed for many, many years before I fed raw and I just went back to it. And I'm really excited, so I'm going to tell you all about that. But give me a little bit of time because I need to work things out, make sure I like it, make sure I love it before I come here and tell you all about it. Um, Stasi is still being groomed. She's still wonderful um, in long coat, not giving me any problems at all. And everything's going great with that. And hopefully you'll be seeing more of the dogs as we go along in these new videos that hopefully I will be bringing you soon. So let's see, what else have I covered? My weight loss journey. I'm still on the weight loss journey. Um, I am almost to goal. So I have lost about 120 pounds. Wow, total. And I am almost to goal. And I've been maintaining. This has been going on for about five years now that I started all this. And I've been maintaining fine, um, give or take a few pounds here or there. But I am back on and I am about 
12 pounds to where I want to be. So I am almost there, finally, and I definitely have come a long way. So that is it. That's a basic synopsis of what has been going on in my life, in the dog's lives. Hopefully I'll bring, be bringing you more videos of all of them very, very soon. Follow us on Instagram at simplyrocks2017 um, where you can see a more up-to-date kind of what's going on in our lives through my Insta stories and through my feed. So thank you so much for following us. Keep um, watch. I am going to be uploading a video that I just did with Stassi where I was doing her top knot. I do it a little bit different. So maybe you can pick up some tips from there and I look forward to sharing more with you soon. I hope to see you guys later very, very soon. Bye guys. Have a great day. Mwah!